Hello, hi. Ano maganda na intro? Hello, hi. Ano <laughs> maganda na intro sa ni? Okay, so wala. Nasaan maganda na intro? Okay, I'm um, Nestor John Villamor. Or you can call me Sir NJ. And I will be your instructor for this subject, CC106. In this uh, subject, we will tackle about development of applications using web, mobile, and emerging technologies. Okay? So, hindi uh, lita na masyado discuss siguro ang mobile kay uh, dili man ako, ano, dili man ako mobile developer. Siguro, ano, uh, i-discuss natin mas, mas damugitan discussions about uh, website development or web development. Okay? And syempre, uh, kasama na rin yung mga emerging technologies uh, na i-discuss natin. Together with that, uh, i-discuss din natin yung mga emphasis on requirements management, interface design, usability, testing, development, uh, including ethical and legal considerations. Okay? Today, I will orient or I, I will show you the syllabus for this subject. Okay. So, syllabus. So, ito yung syllabus natin para sa subject na to. So, for week 1, of course, uh, ito yung mga commonly ginagawa natin. So, GTKY, uh, ito ganyan, ako pala si ano, ayang ano, ito yung mga gusto ko, ganyan, ganyan. Uh, so, proceed na tayo sa week number 2 kasi uh, yung week number 1 is more on uh, uh, VMGO, mga vision mission, di ba? So, alam naman natin yan kasi uh, second year na tayo. Okay? So, dito tayo sa week number 2. Week number 2, so, content proper na tayo, unit 1. Sisimula na natin yung mga topics about uh, mobile and website development. Okay? So, yan lahat ng uh, nasa module 2 natin. I mean module 1. So, sa module 3, ay module 2 or unit 2 is more on uh, knowing uh, HTML. And then, 4 and 5 week. This is our third module or unit 3. It's more on CSS. Okay? And so on and so forth. So, midterm exam is lahat ng discussions natin, lahat ng topics natin uh, from week 2 to week 8. Okay? So, siya nga pala, uh, kasi kanina may nagtanong, uh, Sir, paano ano, paano uh, wala yung wala akong PC, wala wala akong laptop. So, okay lang 'yon. Pero uh, before the midterm period uh, ends. So, kailangan meron tayong computer or laptop. Kasi dito sa unit 5, as you can see dito. Uh, meron tayong ano dito, uh, activity or topic natin na kailangan kailangan sa laptop or PC gawin. Uh, later na natin uh, later ko na discuss kung uh, I mean kung bakit pero kailangan talaga kasi ni Sam sa PC or sa laptop uh, need siya install okay so after that uh, prelim period so discussions tayo diba sa topic natin is merong ano um, emerging ito emerging technologies so, i-discuss natin yan after midterm. So, I think half of the prelim period is the emerging technologies. Okay? So, we will introduce, uh, I will introduce you to the emerging technologies of 2020 kasi kakatapos naman 2020. And then, discuss natin kung ano yung mga top 5, uh, I mean, top 10 uh, technologies ng 2020. Okay. So, uh, before matapos yung ano, before matapos ang um, prelim, I mean ang um, ang final period. So, we will have a group oral presentation. This one. I will group your 
uh, section uh, into 10 groups. Okay? And then we have a group or presentation. So, if matuloy yung ano, kasi proposal namin na uh, magkaroon tayo ng face-to-face -face just for the presentation. Pero kung in approve naman ng, ng uh, admin, eh, gagawa na lang kayo ng ano, video ng mga kagrupo mo. Mga kagrupo nyo. Okay? So, the topic, dito natin kukunin sa mga emerging technologies. Okay? And then, for the <clears throat> final uh, project, so we will have a final project which is startup company website with proper UX and sample domain. So, ito. Ito, ito yun, no? Okay? So, just a simple company website. So, ngayon, hindi nyo pa masyado naiintindihan kasi uh, wala pa tayong discussions or hindi pa kompleto yung modules natin. Pero by the time na, or before tayo dumating dito sa para gumawa na ng final project is marami na yung alam sa website development. Okay? So, uh, our type of uh, discussion or class will be online class. So, we will have asynchronous and synchronous. Siguro alam, alam, alam naman natin no, kung ano yung ano, uh, pagkakaiba ni asynchronous at, at ni synchronous. So, si asynchronous, class will be adapted for the delivery of instructions using LMS, FB, Google Classroom. Okay? And then, synchronous uh, may be conducted for recitations, reinforcement, activity follow-up discussions, and other activities using Zoom or Google Meet. So, si asynchronous pala eh, is sa uh, sabay-sabay tayo. Like for example, uh, gagamit tayo ng FB Room, Google Meet, or Zoom for our discussions. Si Asynchronous naman is still online, but uh, for deliber deliberations lang ng instructions or modules, and then uh, submission of your uh, answers. Okay? So, ganun, niya, ganun lang. Uh, modular, modular approach will be uh, meron pa rin, meron pa rin ano, modular approach pero dun lang ito sa mga uh, walang wala walang wala talaga or hindi talaga makakonek sa internet. Pero sana naman yung mga uh, may pang internet lang naman uh, i-ano na natin, uh, paglaanan na natin ng internet yung uh, studies natin Kasi dapat nating uh, pagtuunan ng pansin sa ngayon, lalot na nasa na tayo, uh, pandemya. Okay? So, uh, at saka ini-encourage kayong lahat na dapat or I hope meron tayong laptop or PC man lamang. Uh, siguro may mga kakilala naman kayo na graduates na ng, ano, ng Comsai. So, pwede kayong manghiram or mga pinsan, tito, tita, ate, kuya. ba So, hindi hindi naman siguro rason sir, wala talaga, walang ganito na pag sinabi ganito, magsireklamo agad ng oy, no, ay ganito, ay ganyan. No, dapat hindi ganon. Uh, maghanap muna na tayo ng solutions bago tayo mag uh, reklamo. Okay? So, sir, Ano ba yung ano bang matututunan namin dito? Ano bang mga ano bang mga uh, learning outcomes namin? Ano ba yung mga possible na na trabaho para sa amin kung uh, pag uh, bigyan namin ng oras or or pagtiyagaan namin tong subject mo. Okay? So, ito yung learning outcomes natin dito. Learning outcomes, so to analyze <clears throat> or maintain an existing website or mobile application. So, wag na, ano, wag na yung mobile application. Siguro sa website na lang. Kasi, uh, introduction lang naman tayo sa mobile applications or development. So, analyze and maintain an ex existing website of a certain company. So, if ever, makapagtrabaho na kayo, makapag-apply na kayo sa isang mga, isang website company. So, pwedeng ano pwedeng mag-maintain kayo ng mga websites nila 
or ng mga clients. Okay? So, can create a small or large website from scratch or using predefined CSS and HTML templates. Okay? So, pwede, kayong mag, uh, pwede na kayong ano, kung matuto kayo nito, mamaster nyo itong uh, website development is makagawa kayo ng website for your own or para kay tito, para kay tita, nagpapagawa, magpapagawa sila. So, pwede nyo singilin ng ano, uh, budget-friendly na website. So, 5,000 per website or 10,000. So, okay na yun. Uh, implement testing and deploy of, uh, of applications based on standard operational procedure. So, SOP. So, I've been, I've been working as a web developer for almost 6 years. So, before ako napunta dito sa The Best MSCAT, I am a web developer uh, in Cebu. So, I started as a WordPress developer. So, ang trabaho ko is nag-convert ako ng uh, layouts. So, website layouts from uh, layout to HTML and CSS. So, ginagawa ko yun uh, nung una is inaabot ako ng isang layout uh, three days. But nung ano, na, na master ko na, I think mga three months, four months, nagagawa ko na lang siya ng mga four to five hours. So, yun. Uh, and then, after nun, ito yung ano, it, uh, yung deployment. So, uh, yung, for example, may ano ka na, ilalagay mo na siya sa internet talaga or sa World Wide Web, sa WW. Ilalagay mo na yung uh, website mo. So, ito yung tinatawag natin na deployment. So, dinideploy natin from local to uh, inter, uh, World Wide Web yung website natin. Okay? So, sa company namin, is may mga sinusunod kaming SOP kung paano gawin yun. So, ito yung ano, standard operational procedure na <clears throat> ibig sabihin dito sa ating learning outcomes. Understand and create a user interface based on the client needs. So, isa rin to sa isa rin tong ginagawa, uh, isa rin to sa matututunan natin na hindi lang if uh, website developer ka o web developer ka, hindi lang yung pansariling um, opinion or pananaw ang, in, ang masusunod. So, dapat it's always on the client's client base yung mga ginagawa natin. Like for example, hindi naman pwede siguro na gumawa ka ng website, dito yung design, tapos ayaw ni client, hindi ba? So magagalit yun, for sure. Okay? So yun, yun yung ibig sabihin ko. Ibig, ibig sabihin ng uh, learning outcomes na to. So sir, an paano naman yung mga career opportunities? So dito naman tayo. Uh, hindi ko na i nilagay lahat kasi masyadong marami. Like for example, if a ComSci graduate ka or IT graduate ka, is marami talaga tayong fields. Hindi lang sa pagiging developer, but also in offices. Like for example, uh, uh, office, uh, technical staff. So ako, nung last uh, sem is I am a technical staff dito sa scholarship office. And then, so ito yung, uh, ito yung mga talagang possible. So if graduate ka ng IT or ng uh, ComSci, uh, you may be a web or mobile developer, of course, obviously. For uh, front-end or back-end programmer, so ito yung mga uh, website pa rin, yung minimaintain or ginagawa nila, but more on uh, ano, uh, coding na. coding. So uh, front-end is more on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, but back end is more on like for example python uh, ano pa yan, ano pa yan uh, php may php pa rin pero yung mga ano na may mga client server side na okay so data analyst uh, quality assurance specialist and then software support specialist so yun yun yung mga possible career opportunities para sa atin okay so uh, i hope na intindihan lahat, naintindihan nyo lahat yung uh, content ng, ng subject natin. And then, I hope talaga, I hope na bawat isa sa atin is meron tayong laptop or computer. And then, during the synchronous,
class natin, I hope na more than 50% of our class is andun para mas maintindihan nyo kung Sir, paano ito nangyari? Sir, paano itong gawin? So, para mas, pa, pa, para mas maintindihan pa natin. Kasi sa subject na, na natin ito, is dapat, ano talaga, uh, face-to-face. I mean, talaga, eh, hindi naman siguro face-to-face, but dapat may uh, students and teacher interaction. Kasi marami itong ano, maraming tanong na dapat masagot agad ng teacher. Okay? But hindi naman siguro problema yon kasi kung sa student naman tayo, we are a resourceful student. And then, number one resources natin is ang internet. Uh, if hindi nyo pakilala, W3 schools, yun, stock overflow, yan yung mga um, resources natin as a uh, developer. Okay? So, hanggang dito lang siguro. And then, good luck to everyone. And then, please cooperate lang. Yun lang yung uh, gusto ko. Yun lang yung um, requirements ko. Please cooperate. And then, if there's a problem, don't afraid to approach me. So, just PM me. Or, nandito lang naman ako sa CAS building, second floor. Uh, anytime, if nandito kayo, if meron kayong mga gustong itanong, technical or about module, walang problema. Okay? So, uh, thank you and then goodbye. Ciao!